Hi guys. So um, I just uh, read a very interesting article and I also pinned it uh, on my Twitter, the first uh, tweet of mine. And uh, it's an article about a guy that thinks that um, uh, the current, uh, we are currently in the um, hope phase of the bull market in cryptocurrency. And, and so the, at the early stage of the bull market, he expects it to go much, much, much higher. Uh, and um, he also brings up uh, the argument that, um, uh, that, 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 that alts now are going up versus Bitcoin and this is exceptional um, and uh, it used to be when Bitcoin goes up alts go down versus Bitcoin and, and so this is uh, another indicator that we are in a new paradigm. So uh, I think this is a, a great example of an article that is not in touch with uh, reality. Um, as I noticed, many people in the market are starting to uh, become euphoric, especially Ether, Ether uh, investors. Um, if you look at my previous video where I uh, m make a little joke um, that I will buy a Lambo instead of Ether, it's not a joke. I didn't buy either yet, but um, um, I, I see a lot of uh, people that feel um, well um, insulted. Uh, but please, um, um, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Eh? Uh, Ether has gone up a lot. Of course, it's a bad investment at this point in time. It doesn't matter whether it doubles from here. Um, you missed your opportunity and it's a very risky investment. But. Um, it's very important for me to ask myself, where are we in the markets? Um, uh, and I think we are at the trill stage uh, on this chart. Um, and and, and um, why do I think that? Uh, because, um, well, if you look at the market cycle, indeed ends there in depression. Um, but for Bitcoin, uh, this was uh, at $160. Huh? Um, when it corrected from 1150 to $160, so 10 times lower, eh? well, that was the depression phase. Uh, of, um, so what happened after that was that uh, Bitcoin flattened out at $200 and then went up to um, $400. This was the first rally, but before many people had seen rallies too, that ended up in a crash to a new low. So this first uh, leg up from 200 to 300 or 400 um, was the first rally and so a rally of disbelief that many people didn't believe in it. And then after that you go to the start of the chart, uh, chart here and, and you have the phase of hope. Well that was for Bitcoin where it went from peaking out at 500, stabilizing around 300-400 and then instead of going to a new low again, no it went up again to 700. That was the hope phase because then we I and many others realized that, okay, the bear market is over. We have now a second time that it goes up to a new high. Uh, that's great. So the hope is there that we are in a new bull market. Um, and after that, um, um, when it goes, uh, it, it was uh, around 500 for a while, and then it goes up to 700, 900, and that's where you have optimism. Optimism. Uh, in the market that yes Bitcoin has survived the bear market and and uh, we are going direction uh, the all-time high and everybody is optimistic again the doubts whether Bitcoin will succeed long term are gone uh, and um, yeah um, the air is positive the vibe is positive um, and then you get the start of the parabolic rise where uh, there is no uh, much less doubt and for Bitcoin this was well let's take the chart and so where is the parabolic rise starting this is um, current price thousand six hundred dollars almost this is the price of uh, you can see it here a bit stamp US dollars price and the chart is all huh? and it starts in 2012 um, so uh, where is the parabolic rise starting in uh, this bubble? Well, it is here. Uh -huh. You see that? There was some doubt here. And what's price here? $600. Huh? So, uh, the first one was the phase of uh, disbelief. 
for 500 correction then uh, a new rally to 700 correction that's the the phase of um, uh, hope huh? here the hope started and then it's the uh, uh, parabolic rise start and this from 600 or so and um, this is the phase of um, optimism yeah, so the parabolic rise starts at 600 and that's the optimism phase so uh, now uh, but what you see is that um, uh, the next phase after optimism is belief huh? uh, time to get fully invested for Bitcoin this was around um, thousand uh, hundred dollars thousand two hundred dollar eh? when it was playing with that price for a long time um, there was still doubt but once it broke through that um, then it was certain that there was a new bubble the all-time high was broken that is very recent only uh, a couple of weeks back and then suddenly you get an acceleration uh, again instead of going a little bit sideways still it goes straight up huh? and this is the phase we are now in uh, Bitcoin in only a couple of days or a week or so has gone up from $1,300 to $1,600 uh, so we are in the thrill phase um, and very likely we will get some doubt but it will shoot through to the euphoric phase and this is applicable to all coins some coins are a little bit further in the cycle I think Ethereum has already reached euphoria uh, but um, but many others um, uh, are also just in the thrill phase and some are in the belief phase. The, the shit coins have only started recently to go up, uh, but um, but um, but uh, all will likely peak out around the same time. And so this is extremely important for me to time um, when I will sell and for how much. And so. Uh, for me, the most important question is where at what price will this likely peak out? I've made a video on that uh, two months ago or so. High, how high will Bitcoin go? And, uh, and, and I still stand by that video. Uh, I think um, the chances are high we will peak out around uh, 2500 to um, uh, $3,000. Uh, so uh, not as high as many think. Um, but. Um, so, so why I think that you should look at the video, but in summary, uh, because the because in every bubble, a uh, Bitcoin has gone up less and less, um, and so uh, if you just extrapolate that, um, actually every bubble it has been cut in half, um, uh, the percentage increase, and so if you just cut it in half again, you get the end result is that you get that uh, Bitcoin will peak out around two times its all-time high uh, and that was $1,150 so that's $2,300 uh, there it will peak out or uh, four times the price where it started going parabolic and for Bitcoin this was at $600 it has started to go up parabolically and so four times that price is also um, around um, $2,400 um, no, but uh, of course, uh, and, 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 and very interesting is that uh, indeed it is very typical, it's, it's, in the previous bu bubbles it was also the case that once Bitcoin breaches its all-time high, then suddenly you get an acceleration in Bitcoin price, but also in altcoin prices. And whereas before they would go down versus Bitcoin, every time Bitcoin would go up in fiat value, uh, altcoins would struggle. But uh, once Bitcoin br broke its all-time high in the past two, um, then suddenly altcoins start to go up versus Bitcoin. Uh, so that's just a turbo booster you're sitting on suddenly. And, um, and, and so this is, has happened again now and, and that's nothing new. Uh, and that's great to see. That means we are really now uh, in a new bubble um, as it was before. And, um, and, and that's of course great. Um, especially if you have allocated a large percentage of your portfolio to this asset class cryptocurrency then you are sitting on uh, major gains right now uh, as I am too and that's of course amazing but uh, the most important question I'm asking myself right now is um, 
how much to sell uh, at what price and so uh, the way I have been doing that is, is just follow the Kelly uh, criterion um, which says that um, you should invest the most into the best investments um, and for me that was cryptocurrency is the best investment but it all depends of course also where you are in the cycle um, sometimes cryptocurrency is a really bad investment also uh, short term even though I agree long term it will go much higher, I have learned the hard way to respect short term returns also because it's not fun to sit on a 50% loss. It doesn't matter whether it's going to be short term or not because you don't know that. You have your loss of 50%, you are never certain you're going to see that money back. Uh, and so I, I really value short term uh, also. And, and so for me at the peak of the bubble, short-term crypto is an extremely bad investment you are likely going to use not 50 percent but 80 percent and possibly 90 percent of your uh, investment in the short term uh, over the next months or year so so that's a terrible uh, place to be and i think um, i don't like in the previous bubble bitcoin bubble i was still 60 percent in, in in bitcoin and altcoins uh, uh, when bitcoin was around thousand dollars that was too much and, and I've learned that, and I did that the bubble before too. And, 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 and I've learned that uh, I should really like cut back stronger once Bitcoin goes into a, a thrill phase and a euphoric phase. I should really have not a majority, but a minority of my assets invested in crypto. Uh, but it is, also, of course, also very important to ride it because if you constantly are selling um, uh, and balancing out uh, too soon you are going to miss out on many of the gains so i've decided to invest uh, 80 percent of my portfolio into cryptocurrency when it was um when bitcoin was at uh, at 200 dollars uh, so that was uh, great but why did i take 80 percent because at that point in time for me, even though Bitcoin had weaknesses already then, merchant adoption was bad, uh, I discovered, and failing. Um, uh, still, Bitcoin was a great thing and would likely find a market in the future for storage of capital and transfer of capital over borders. So I still believed strongly in Bitcoin uh, and, so that, and in cryptocurrencies in general. And so that's why I decided to do 80%. And also the price was a lot lower than it used to be. $200 is not $1,000 anymore. And it had gone already a lot lower than I had expected. I expected it to only go to $500. Actually, you know, $400 or so, but not $200. So, so that was a great time to allocate 80% of my portfolio to crypto. Um, but, um, uh, but what's my strategy now? Well, um, my strategy is to be out of crypto or, or have a minority in crypto when it reaches uh, it's, uh, its all time, high, when it reaches uh, $2,300. So at that point, I want to have not 60% as I used to be, but only 40% invested in crypto. And um, um, if it would like go up even more, uh, for example, it reaches um, three thousand five hundred dollars. Um, so instead of two times the all-time high, it goes to three times the all-time high. Then I don't want forty percent in crypto anymore. I only want twenty percent in crypto, which is already still a lot because at that point in time, for me, the odds are become extremely low that they will continue to rise. But still, I have twenty percent invested in that. I do that because, um, well, yeah. It's not that easy uh, to, 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 to make those moves, uh, to sell all your darlings and you have to keep it real. So um, ideally you go to 10 or 5% or nothing, but I, think, I don't think I could do that. And, and since if we reach that price, I will have already locked in a lot of profit. So it's okay to have 20% of my portfolio C uh, be cut in half or even lose 90% of its value. And if it would ever reach $4,600, then my target is 10% crypto and 90% fiat. 
Um, but I know these moves will be difficult to make because if it ever reaches that price, the, the market will be in total euphoria. And I will also have realized that all the sales I have done before were, well, were not wise. Uh, if I would have held on to everything, I would be a lot richer at that point in time. So cutting back becomes more and more difficult. Um, so that's why I keep, even at extremely high prices, I keep my allocation at, well, still 10, 20%. And the same is true for if it would reach 2,300, which I think is has a high chance to be reached. But after that, the chance become like bad uh, for it to continue go up. I would still be 40% invested in crypto. Uh, and, and I do that because, yeah, okay, the chances are high. I think that that 40% in crypto will start to go down. The crypto will go down in value. And so my 40% of my portfolio will start to take losses. But... I also have learned in the past that crypto always goes higher than I expect. So it will give me a chance to still be invested 40%. Uh, and if it indeed goes again higher than I expect, I will still have 40% of my portfolio enjoying continuing uh, uh, price rises. Uh, but it's not the majority anymore, which I think is a big step for me because in the past I always had the majority still invested at price points where in the past I would have said, if it ever reaches that price, I would sell it all. But then the price is reached and I'm still exposed uh, for the majority of my portfolio. So I hope to break with that pattern. And, and so right now, uh, I think uh, crypto was a great investment around $200 for Bitcoin and altcoins. Uh, a year later, also bottoming out uh, and 2015 were a great investment then. And, 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 and risking 8% of your portfolio, I think, was justified. But once altcoins start to go up, uh, and Bitcoin too, it becomes less and less uh, interesting. And so my targets are to, um, well, it goes down. It used to be 80%, but right now, actually, it's only 60% that I would like to be exposed to crypto. But in reality, I'm not doing that. And so uh, I also like to, uh, well, I think it's okay also to cheat yourself a little in these games, eh? to basically... Uh, don't live up to your um, goals um, in the beginning eh? because uh, it's profitable to cheat yourself a little and not sell enough crypto than you should. Eh? For example, for me right now at these prices, my target is um, about 50% I would like to have in crypto and not more. Eh? Uh, but in reality right now I have 85% in crypto. Eh? So a lot more I have in crypto than I actually, than reason dictates, uh, my reason dictates. But it's okay to, to cheat a little. But once um, it reaches 2300, I will really start following my program, uh, which means uh, less in crypto uh, than in fiat. It's 40%. Then, eh? So uh, not 80% as it is now. But actually, I plan to do that already sooner uh, when it reaches $1,900. I think that's also still has a high chance to be reached, higher than 2,300. And, 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 and at that point, I will probably like really come a lot closer to my target. And that my target then is 50-50, eh? 50 fiat, 50, um, 50 crypto, and, and, and probably I will do then 40 or so uh, fiat and not 50, but, but that will be a lot better. And currently I only have 15 fiat and eh? not 40. Uh, and so I, I, that's my, my, my goal with this. I'm planning to now rebalance around $1,900 and I'm planning to go, go then to 25-30% fiat. That's my next iteration point. Um, so, yeah, this is the most important thing. Um, uh, I'm thinking if I can add anything else. Um, no, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you are enjoying uh, great profits, and um, and um, good luck. Bye.